you may or may not have heard, but there is a new Delta on the block. EcoFlow has now released their Delta 2, which is replacing their Delta 1300. So the Delta was the first big solar generator that EcoFlow made. Introducing the Delta 2, it does actually have expandable battery capacity and has a strong inverter and other nice features about it that I'm gonna to get to in this video. So if you've been looking at the light cap solar generator category, which relates to the solar generator comparison chart that I've made, it's a live updated document that allows you to see an apples to apples comparison of all the solar generators on the market, which I'll have a link down below, then this may be one that you're looking for. The price on this is pretty incredible, especially for what it can do. It's absolutely one of the best bang for the buck units out there, but is it enough to do what you need it to do? That's what we're gonna find out in this video. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the very end. Let's get into this. So the Delta is a fine unit on its own, but it uses lithium NMC batteries, which most people don't like anymore. So that's the first big difference between the Delta and the Delta II is the Delta II now uses Life PO4 or lithium iron phosphate battery. Because of that, it goes from 800 cycles to 3000 cycles. But the real question is, when would you actually use 800 cycles? Because to use 800 cycles would mean you would drain it and then recharge it every single day for 800 days, almost three years, and then it would still be at 80% efficiency, which means it's still plenty usable. So the Delta II with 3000 cycles is much closer to eight years of nonstop use, going all the way to zero and back to 100 every single day. And eight years later, it'll be 80% efficient. The Delta II has a 1,024 watt hour battery. So they're similar in size, but this weighs 31 pounds and this is 27 pounds. But another big difference is that this has an extreme output, which means it can go from 1,800 watts of output to 2,200 watts of output, which is better than the Delta I. Another major difference is that the Delta I had no app compatibility, whereas this one you can monitor and control with the app and expand it with an expansion battery. Now the expansion battery for the Delta II, there's a couple of options. You can use a Delta II expansion battery, which is gonna give you another thousand watt hours, we'll call it, of battery capacity. Or you can pair it with the Delta Max battery, which is what I have here, and this has 2000 watt hours of battery. So effectively you're gonna get 3000 watt hours of battery capacity, which is indeed plenty for emergency preparedness and even van life use. Now the thing with the Delta Max batteries is it is lithium NMC, but like I said before, are you really concerned about only getting 800 cycles before you run into 80% efficiency issues? For me, honestly, the answer is no. And the connectivity on this is super simple. The external battery comes with the correct connector here. So all I do is open this door here on the side, connect in that side of the cable there, bring this over and connect it to this right here. And it's automatically gonna pair. Now, one of the coolest things is if this was at say 50% and this was at 80% or 100% completely unbalanced, this will automatically balance the system for you, which makes it really nice not having to charge up one or the other to get within 0.5 volts or something like that, which isn't necessarily a problem, but it's just nice that it's plug and play regardless of the setup, you connect it and it'll auto balance the batteries by itself. Now the Delta II doesn't have a big power brick on the wall charger. It's just this cable here, which makes it really nice for fast charging. And this charges at about 800 watts speed. And when connected together, it will also charge the external battery. Now, just as an FYI, you can't charge the external battery by itself. It must be connected either to a Delta II or a Delta Max in order to charge this battery up. One of the things that I absolutely love about this Delta Max battery is the storage compartment in the top. I think all solar generators need to come with something like this now. And one of the other big differences you'll see between the Delta 1300 or what I'm gonna call the Delta One and the Delta Two are the outlets. Now there's still six AC outlets, but you can see on the Delta One, that each outlet has access to use a grounding hole, but these units are not grounded, obviously, because they're portable, they're not connected to the house. So with all solar generators, this grounding hole is just a spot, so that way the third prong on an outlet can go into it. It's not actually providing any grounding. And these are actually 20 amp slots. You can tell they're 20 amps because they have this sideways section in the plug as well. Now on the display side of the unit, it's pretty much the same, but you'll notice that the on button is a different color. And then on the other side, you've got your cigarette lighter ports as well. 
as your 55, 25 millimeter barrel ports there. Now it does come with a solar charging cable, which uses an XT60 cable, and it's about 10 feet long. So it is pretty substantial, but you're still gonna wanna get some solar cables. You can find those at poweredportablesolar.com, as well as all the kits for these solar generators that I prefer, even including the Delta Max battery here. But what I wanna test right now is can this output 1800 watts consistently? But then I wanna check the solar rechargeability of it to see if it will charge up very well. And I'm even gonna do that with the EcoFlow Bifacial 220 watt solar panel, which is new and I really, really like it so far. So we're gonna see how it pairs with this. Okay, there it goes. So we made it 27 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wall charger on it and see what happens. That way you don't find out the hard way. So fingers crossed that there is no smoke. Okay, good so far. No crackling, just heard it click. Oh, overheat temperature gauge. So this has to cool off before it will start charging. I'm gonna go ahead and let this try to cool off for a little bit and uh, then we'll continue the test. Hey, I don't know if it was recording, it was at 500 and then some clouds came over. But, so I've actually got 1200 watts of solar panels connected right now. I've got three 200 watts in one group, three in another. We're coming back up right here, but doing this, I was able to successfully over panel the system and get the max 500 watt solar input which pretty much no other light cap solar generator has been able to do. But here's really the craziest part, as we can see right now I'm making 46 volts and 7.5 amps. So we're getting about 15 volts per solar panel. The charge parameter is up to 60 volts. So truly, in theory, I could connect four 200 watt 12 volt panels in series and have two groups of those for 1600 watts of panels connected to this and still be right at the 60 volt charge parameter. And that would be maximizing the solar input on this by a crazy amount. Now I'm not gonna do that, but you can see that's clearly possible using this watt meter uh, right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit and get charged up. So it's been a couple of hours and I'm right at 99% now. It's letting in 285 watts into the charge controller. So I'm happy with that. I just wish we had some sun to get some better results to show you, but that is what it is, real world situation. I'm glad I can over panel it and get it charged up this fast. I've got some decent sun right now. So I'm going to test the bifacial folding 220 watt panel with the Delta II. I really like this panel. On the back side of it, it has another solar panel. So any extra light that goes through reflects off the white surface on the back there and helps make more power essentially. And then this is just the standard 200 watt panel that I was using on the other test. We're just gonna see how these compare. So right now I've got the 200 watt panel connected and we are climbing, we're at 163. It's doing extremely well for the cloudy conditions. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the other panel and see how that's doing with the bifacial 220 watt panel. So now the bifacial is going and we're actually at 170. So they're performing very similarly, but the 220 watt bifacial solar panel is doing just a little bit better, but it's definitely easier to transport. And that's a really big feature that is nice of that solar panel and it's doing really well. I like it. Now, real quick, a special thank you to all my Patreon members. I appreciate you guys so much. If you want to have direct access to me where you and I can chat back and forth, that way I can help you personally figure out what system is best for you or you want to talk about any other preparedness subject, I'm more than happy to do that with you. Just go to patreon.com slash Minuteman Prep. Now, I'm going to have more videos on the Delta II comparing it directly to the Delta I as well as expanding with batteries and doing more testing. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Now, if you want to get this equipment here like what I've got, you want to make sure you're using the links down below this video and or go to poweredportablesolar.com directly. That's gonna ensure that you're getting the best price for these systems and that you're gonna get extra customer service for a lifetime to make sure you have all the help you need in getting this stuff configured for your needs. I think the Delta II with the Delta Max battery is a perfect setup for like a van life because it's plenty of power that's stored in the batteries. It's got good solar rechargeability and for running basic things in the van or just some emergency essentials around the house, I think it's a good fit. So it may be something you wanna check into, especially right now while there's coupons going on. Again, all of that's down below. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all my subscribers and viewers and you being here. If you have questions, reach out to me at info at poweredportablesolar.com or Patreon 
or comment down below and I'll do what I can to help out. Thank you so much. Be prepared. I think the Delta II with an extra battery is a really good way to be prepared. And so I'm going to give it a thumbs up and say that I like it. It's definitely got good output, good storage, and really good rechargeability. We saw that with being able to over panel. So I like it for a light cap system. This is probably the best, if not at least top three absolutely for sure at least top two for sure so thank you so much for being here be prepared i will see you guys in the next video